NXT returns to Atlanta for another set of tapings for the next few weeks as apparently there's potentially some sort of like remodel happening Maybe. at uh, Full Sail. Uh, but yeah, they're back at their home away from home. Uh, it's a cool little venue. I like it. But we are talking about the midweek wrap-up, NXT all by itself. I do actually want to mention that Jason Jordan underwent successful yes. neck surgery. Uh, on Tuesday, so... A very, very minorly invasive neck surgery that just uh, takes away a little bit of pressure between discs. Yeah. So, glad to hear that that it was successful. Uh, we might not like the guy, but we don't want him to be hurt. Yeah. Uh, so, hopefully his recovery time gets him in line to be back before the, the big payday. Yeah, because I, I think as of today, yes... As of today, we are two months exactly away from WrestleMania. Wow. So, good luck, Jason. But let's talk about NXT. Uh, We were supposed to open up with the uh, tag team title match, Undisputed Era uh, defending against Sanity. This turned into a big old brawl with all six members, uh, not including Nikki. She wasn't part of it. Uh, But all the guys just decided to beat the shit out of each other. So, William Regal decided to make the main event a six-man tornado tag match uh yeah and it was it was nuts and we'll talk about that uh heavy machinery defeated tino and riddick in tag team action and then riddick ended up leaving tino at ringside having rude trouble in paradise and not the kofi kingston move uh johnny gargano spoke about his match against andrade san almas at the last takeover uh and then it was in the process of calling out Tommaso for the the crutch shot afterwards. He was then uh, in a uh, another situation with Zelina and Andrade, both of them telling him that... Verbally, verbally berating him. Yeah, just telling him, like, dude, shut up. And then and then Johnny's like, no, you shut up. And then Candace shoved Zelina, and that was Zelina fun. Zelina shoved Johnny. Yeah. Uh, Johnny's and then, not going to hit a woman. And so, ever. so they asked... Johnny Gargano will never hit a woman. Nope. Neither will Chuck Taylor. Um, that's a lie. Chuck Taylor loves... <laughs> Don't finish that sentence. Yep. Uh, Johnny Gargano uh, was then asked by Zelina, what will it take to get rid of you? Uh, does it, And he says, well, give me another shot at the NXT title. And she's like, fine. If we give you another shot and you lose... You have to leave NXT. And Johnny's like, that's cool. And then Candace is like, is it? And Johnny's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he, had a, he had a moment of, the fuck did I just do? Johnny tends to do that. Yeah, no, he's, he's a very... Uh, Act first, think later. Yeah. So, but he would never hit a woman. Uh, uh, especially with a super kick. Shayna Baszler says that Ember is afraid of her, as is most of, if not all, of the women at the Performance Center and in NXT. Uh, She says there won't be a rematch for the NXT Women's Championship because Ember is afraid. Then Ember took to Twitter and said, Want to bet? Uh, I'll challenge you next week, and you can try and take take my title from me. So we will be getting a Women's Championship match next week. We'll also be getting a UK title match as Roderick Strong challenges Pete Dunne for the United Kingdom Championship. And we had Tyler Bate kind of... Was that your Pete Dunne impression? Yeah. Uh, we had Tyler Bate talk about his loss to, to Pete Dunne and uh, the other people that he would like to get in the ring with. Yeah, essentially it was a very cookie-cutter babyface promo. Pretty much. Which is like, oh, yeah, man, I'm sad I'm lo- I lost the championship rematch, but uh, look at everyone else I can fight, and that's going to be good stuff, yeah? Hey. And we'll also have Alistair Black in action next week as well. We just don't know who he'll be facing. He'll probably just be kicking off a jobber's head. Uh, Bianca Belair defeated a woman named Jessica Hill uh, very quickly with a couple of power moves. That was, that was about it. And then in the main event, Sanity defeated Undisputed Era in a six-man tornado tag. And it was fucking chaotic and awesome. Kevin, what did you like about NXT? What did I like That's the question. about the show? Yeah. That's what I asked. Um, Shayna's promo. It was a good promo. I liked it. Uh, I liked it more than their face-to-face thing that they did with Percy in the middle. Yeah, I mean, that, that was... 
That was alright. I, I liked their initial, like, hey, you you, you want to fight me? Yeah, I'll put the title on, blah, blah, blah. I like, I like that one. That's probably been my favorite one, but this yeah. one was pretty I, I like the Shayna promo. Uh, she's just a really, really good cocky character. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think she's she's definitely taken to the pro wrestling yeah, and it's aspect. Just, it's very just one easily. of those things where it's like you. It's the the tell of somebody who really is cocky, who's really, really, really into themselves, is if they can lose and still think that the other person's going to be afraid of them. Like, yeah, they yeah they beat me, but they're still afraid. Yeah, no, and that, and that's that, that's like, exactly what her whole thing was like. She. She punked out Ember to the point where, yeah, Ember wa- Ember kept the title, but Shayna's not the one with her fucking arm and shoulder all wrapped up. And yeah, it's it, it's cool because it's it's very bully tactic mentality to insult your way to getting the other person to want to fight you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I liked the Heavy Machinery versus Tino and Riddick tag match. Heavy machinery are just fun to watch, uh, especially Dozer. Uh, and then I also like the fact that uh, yeah, <laughs> I also like the fact that people hate Tino as much as I do. That makes me feel better. Doesn't make me feel like I'm singling him out, but I wouldn't care either ways. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm very interested to see where this Riddick being upset at Tino thing goes. I I'm, I might have to go back and rewatch it because I want to know how it started. It was, essentially it was like Riddick was doing pretty well, tagged in Tino, and then Tino wasn't doing well, and so Riddick is just, Riddick just like got angry like right off the bat. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, I kind I kind of hope it doesn't break them up as a tag team because I think they work well. Yeah, uh, but you never know. They might have they might be the Less impressive, Blake and Murphy. Because Blake and Murphy actually did some shit together. Yeah, they did. Tino and Riddick, not so much. But they had Alexa, though. That helped. That did help. What did you love? What did I love? I'm pretty sure we loved the same thing. The six-man yeah, tag match. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. was really good. Uh, a lot of spots. I got scared when Killian Dane hurled Bobby Fish off the stage. But how much did you love that fucking Liger Bomb? The Liger Bomb was that... Alexander that Wolf, there man. Is the, I liked the Liger Bomb better than I liked the actual match. <laughs> the, if if the whole match was a Sunday, the Liger, the Liger Bomb was that cherry on top? Or no, no you, don't, you don't like those, do you? No, I do, I do. It's For me, it would be the Liger Bomb is the Sunday. The match is the cherry on top. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, I get you. It was a really, really good match they based around that one move. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I love the match. I, I loved I loved that it came out of originally we were supposed to get the tag team title match and then Cole versus Killian, and then they just smashed it together, and then all six guys just fucking went nuts on each yeah. other, and it was so much fun to watch. I also really enjoyed that they went backstage. Which yeah. Was fun to see. I, like, NXT does that fairly often and they just they have I, I don't know if I, I feel like WWE is afraid to go out so, like away from the viewing area but NXT Unless is like you're Braun I mean well, like, Braun goes wherever Braun wants but like like in, unless it's something they especially have especially there's a grappling hook true unless they have something like planned on the back it's usually like oh I'll chase you through the crowd or we'll go off to the side of the stage where people can still see yeah. us NXT likes to do the backstage thing a lot which is cool one of the many one of the many 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 things we like about NXT yeah uh, did you dislike anything um um No, I, w- I I gotta say like if there was an extra category we threw in for things that I didn't care about, I almost did that uh, yesterday for the for Tuesday Night Live. Yeah, uh, I would I would put the Bianca Belair match because you know I mean I'll give them one facet. 
I finally know what est means. Oh, you didn't know that? E-S-T. You didn't know that? No, no idea. Had they, no clue. They literally say it like every time she comes out. Well, I hear him say that she's the E-S-T. Yeah. I had no idea what it actually means. Oh. Huh. But she's the strongest and fastest and, and baddest. the best. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Now you know. Better, yeah. better late than uh, never. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, obviously, if somebody who watches regularly on a regular basis had no idea what that meant. Yeah. You know, the average Joe might not get the gimmick either. Uh, right. No, they put over really well that she's really strong. Yeah, which is what... Because her match was two moves that involved her picking her opponent up basically at head level. Yeah. Which, from experience, isn't easy to do to another human being. No, no it's not. Uh, yeah, I, and this is what they should have been doing with her the whole time. The fact that she is... She used to be. A, uh, she was a power lifter, right, or a bodybuilder. No like she, I don't she, pay enough attention when she comes out because I don't care. Uh, yeah, no, she she has she has a background in powerlifting or bodybuilding or something. So she, she is, she is strong. That's why she's as fucking buff as she is. Yeah. So yeah, so for them to finally decide, hey, yeah, we're gonna run you with a power game. I think that's more impressive than her just whipping the shit out of people with her hair. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm at a really bad crossroads with her because, for me, even if I dislike someone, that means that I feel a particular way towards a superstar. Right. Bianca Belair, I, I'm completely ambivalent at this point. Yeah. Which is worse than disliking. Yeah. Because... That's that's the one place a wrestler doesn't want you to... It doesn't want to be at. Yeah. Disliking, at least, I will talk about to you at length. Yeah. That's Mojo. A, that, that's, that's why people... Titus. That's why people like Roman Reigns and John Cena, despite being booed out of buildings, still get put on TV because they're getting a reaction. Yeah. But if you're not getting a reaction, you're not going to get put on TV. Mojitis. Oh, God. You made them a tag team. That's And they no, sound even a, more like a disease. I, I, I made them into a weird Transformer like combination thing, actually. Not a tag team. That's gross. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't hate anything because it's NXT. Uh, it's hard to hate NXT. Yeah. No, and that's, that's, why, that's why we love NXT. There's just more to love and less to dislike, and yeah, I'm I'm kind of just Meh. Bianca was there. Yeah, I kind of wish it was Lacey Evans. Yeah, she'll get more time with something else. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, I am very excited for the UK Championship match next week. Yes, that's gonna be really good. Roddy, R- Roddy versus to Pete is gonna to. be really good. It's another thing NXT is killer at is just making sure we have something to look forward. to. You know, and I'm I'm interested in a rematch between Shayna and Ember. Yeah. So, I don't think it's gonna happen. No. All right. We'll see. But for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click those links down below. There are so many social media links. There's also a podcast link. Yeah, that's what says SoundCloud. And there's Reasonable Wrestling Fans. It's Reasonable with a W. Like, like Wrestling. wrestling. Uh, where we have unboxing videos. We have punishment videos. We have other random videos that are loosely based around wrestling because we are Reasonable Wrestling Fans. That's uh, wrestling fans which happen to be reasonable. Yep. Uh, yeah, we'll be posting a few more videos over there soon. Let us know over there and over here what other types of videos you'd like to see us do. I'm not looking forward to getting chopped a bunch. Yeah, you you, you have got you got you seven have chops, seven chops, and you got to do the, Warhead the warheads. Promo. Yeah. yeah, I'm all caught up on my punishments. that one. Like the warhead promo. You know what? There, there's another problem. punishment you haven't done yet. Hmm. You didn't do the battleground one, which was. Oh no! There's two. There's two other ones you what? had. There's Jesus the there's Christ. the battleground one where you had to walk. Oh, barefoot across yeah. stuff, and then we did the fire and ice where you need, where you had to eat something hot and get doused with ice cold water. Oh yeah, you have, I forgot about you that you have one. four punishments that you haven't done. All right. <laughs> We're behind. On We're gonna spend things. one day, and I'm just gonna kick the shit out of Kevin Hawk. It'll <laughs> happen. Uh, but for now, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. And as always, fuck, fuck Mojo. Mojo. And God, fuck Mojitis, that's just, that's awful.